this how you treat your guest detective? May 16th, 1998. Parkview Apartments, room 2, 4. What happened? He killed me. Okay. Who are you talking about? How many years do I get? 20, 30, or perhaps 50? How many years you get, Mr. Opio? Is your choice. I don't think you understand that you have your whole city on edge. I don't have time, detective. You're, you're the one who doesn't understand. This is beyond your fear. That is not your concern. Out of topic. You know, if I was you, Mr. Opio, I'd think for a second. I know you, Mr. Opio. You're not a bad man. I see where you've come from. Think. She'll kill me if I tell you. But you'll die eventually. You have the full force and support of the police. We will provide you safety. There's no safety when it comes to us. May 16th, 1998. Parkview Apartments. Are you talking about Agnes Mutiso, the judge? Have you ever played Banyo? It's a game of ball. Do you have ball? Two homicides, two dead bodies, robbery, but rape. I don't think I'm the one who needs balls, Mr. So I'm going to ask this one last time. Did Agnes Mutiso, judge, send you to kill Charles Macau? As well, call and ask her this question. I'll ask this one more time. Did Agnes Mutis send you to Charles Macau in apartment 24? Well, not him, but his brother. Charles was just collateral damage. Charles was a kid. There's no kid in the world of business. <laughs> The restraint is further must. I know Agnes Mutiso send you to kill Charles Macau in apartment 24. Those are your words, detective. Not mine. Mr. Pio, you're under arrest. Anything you say will be used against you in the court of law. But I'm already arrested, detective. And I will make sure. You rot prison. You like Matoke, eh, detective? I hear your wife cooks very good Matoke at my neighbor, Pale Corner. Right? You know what, detective? Before I was caught with murder, I used to be a thief. <laughs> 